Okay, this is a grade 11 past paper question. It's from November 2019 from the common paper that is um, sent to all the provinces. So as you can see here, we have a circuit. It is a parallel circuit. There are three parallel resistors over here. Can you see them over here? Parallel, 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 each with their own switch. But they are in series with this light bulb over here. And the light bulb's got a voltmeter attached to it. And there's an ammeter on the other side of the circuit. Okay, so it says to you three resistors of resistance 3 ohms, 4 ohms, and 6 ohms, and a bulb are connected in a circuit as shown below. Initially, all the switches are open. The internal resistance of the battery and the resistance of the connecting wires may be ignored. So remember, there's no internal resistance in 10 and 11, but in grade 12, we'll start doing internal resistance calculations. Now it says to you, state Ohm's law in words. So Ohm's law is handily over here. The potential difference across a conductor is directly proportional to the current in the conductor at a constant temperature. Make sure you write that at a constant temperature or you won't get your two marks. Learn your definitions. Now it says to you, this switch S1 is now closed. Okay, so if switch S1 is closed, what have we got here? We've got this light bulb over here and we've got this 3 ohm resistor in series. So when switch S1 is closed, we have a purely series circuit. Okay, so have a look here. Light bulb with a voltmeter on it. Okay, and that goes through this 3 ohm resistor and then back off to the ammeter and then back to the battery. Okay. Switch S1 is now closed and the voltmeter and ammeter readings are read and, uh, recorded. The voltmeter and ammeter readings when both switch S1 and S2 are then recorded, as well as the readings when all three switches S1, S2 and S3 are closed. The results are shown in the table below. So what happens in the next section? Look here, the second reading on the table will be this situation here. Okay, we will have a 3 ohm resistor, but it will be in parallel with a... 6 ohm resistor and then these two will go off to the ammeter and then finally to the battery and then the last one when all of the switches are done we will have three hmm, this is my handwriting is getting bad six and four okay and then these will all return through the ammeter and backwards okay and then there was a voltmeter over here so in the first situation if we look at this carefully here in the first situation we would have had the voltmeter reading here is telling you 4.8 and the ammeter is telling you 2.4 in the next one the voltmeter is telling you 6 and the ammeter is telling you 3 and in this one the voltmeter is telling you 7.2 and the ammeter is telling you 3.6. So look what happens here. We had purely a series circuit, and then we had a series circuit and two parallel resistors, and then we had a series circuit and three parallel resistors. Okay, and as you can see when you do this, the ammeter reading goes from 2.4 to 3 to 3.6. So it says to you, explain the increase in the ammeter reading as more switches are closed. So as you close more switches, what happens? You are adding more parallel resistors, okay? So the more parallel resistors you have, the total resistance is going to decrease. Because remember, if you have parallel resistors, the more resistors you add, the lower the total resistance. And then you remember that the current is inversely proportional to the resistance if the volts can't change. So if the total resistance decreases, then the current has to increase because they are inversely proportional. So as you added more parallel resistors as the switches are closed, the total resistance decreases because it's inversely proportional to the current, then the current goes up. Now it says to you, calculate the resistance of the bulb. So to calculate the resistance of the bulb, we should just, we can look at any of the circuits, but for now I just want to look at 
this first one here because it is the easiest one over here. Okay, so let's have a look at what's going on here. We have got this 2.4 amps, okay, for the whole circuit, it's a series circuit, and we have 4.8 volts. But we can't use um, this, oh, we can, yes, we can use this 4.8 volts. We know that this 2.4 amps is going through the 3 ohm resistor and the 2.4 amps is going through the light bulb. And we know that the voltmeter is placed over the light bulb. So for this calculation over here, we can say V equals IR. And from the table, the voltmeter is 4.8. The current is 2.4. And the voltmeter is on top of the light bulb. So the resistance is going to be 2 ohms for the light bulb. Okay, so my light bulb is 2 ohms. Now it says to you, calculate the potential difference of the battery. The other name for the potential difference of the battery is the EMF. So I want to still keep using this first circuit here. What do we know about the EMF and a series circuit? Because this is a series circuit. A series circuit is a potential divider. So the EMF from the battery is equal to the total voltage, which will be equal to the voltage over the light bulb, okay, plus the voltage over that little 3 ohm resistor. So what we can do here is we already know the voltage over the light bulb, but we need to find the voltage over the 3 ohm resistor. So this voltage for the 3 ohm resistor is going to be equal to IR. The current is the same everywhere in a series circuit, so it's going to be 2.4 times the resistance of the 3 ohm resistor, which is 3. So 2,4 times 3 gives you 7,2. So the EMF for the total voltage over here is going to be the voltage on the light bulb, which is 4.8, plus the voltage in the 3 ohm resistor, which is 2.4, ah, sorry, not 2.4, 7.2, I can't read my own handwriting. So 4.8 plus 7.2 is 12 volts. So we have got 12 volts coming out of the battery here, and this will stay constant. The EMF stays constant for the circuit in all of the things. It's the maximum um, power that the battery can, the maximum potential difference that the battery can supply. Now it says to you, define the term power. So here's the definition of power over here. It's the rate at which work is done or energy is transferred. Learn your definitions. Now it says to you, calculate the power dissipated in the 6 ohm resistor when only switches S1 and S2 are closed. So if we close both of these switches, then we are now dealing with this circuit over here, can you see here? When the two switches are closed, we have the light bulb, which we now know what's the resistance of the light bulb. It's two ohms, and this is in parallel with a three ohm and a six ohm resistor. So it wants to know the power dissipated in the six ohm resistor, okay, when the switches are closed. So when the switches are closed, we know that there's six volts in the light bulb and there's three amps in the circuit. So if we want to calculate power, we've got different power formulas. Let's have a look over here. Can you see here are my power formulas? Power equals VI, power equals I squared R, or power equals V squared over R. So we can use one of these formulas here, but in order to use them, we have to know as many things as possible about the circuit. So the first thing we need we can use is our knowledge of what is the EMF of the circuit. So the EMF is equal to 12 volts and we are using 6 volts in the light bulb, okay? So that leaves 6 volts that are going to go through both of these resistors and I'm using the volts because voltage is the same everywhere in parallel. If I want to split this current up, I have to work out what the current is, but this is just an easy calculation because I know a series circuit is a potential divider. So if I consider these 3 ohm and the 6 ohm as a single resistor, 
they would have six volts going through them because the EMF of the battery will be divided amongst them. And then the uh, parallel volt, uh, voltage is the same everywhere in parallel. So I've got six volts running through the six ohm resistor. So I can use the formula power equals V squared over R. So I've got six times six, which is six squared over six. So 36 over six is giving me six and the unit of power is the watt. So it is six watts. Now it says to you, how will the brightness of the bulb be affected as more switches are closed? So we must think about what is making the brightness. What is making the brightness is the power. Yeah, the rate of doing work is the brightness because brightness is amount of energy that is going through the, through the light bulb. So if we increase the power, we will increase the brightness. What do we know about what happens when more switches in the circuit are closed? As more switches in the circuit are closed, can you see these ammeter readings? They are increasing, okay? And this is the ammeter reading for the circuit, so it, it, it will be the um, current running through the light bulb. So as more switches are closed, the current is increasing, okay? So more switches closed equals increasing current. So now we must link the power, which is linked to the brightness, with the current. So the formula for power that links power and current is P equals I squared R. So what is happening? Power is proportional to I squared. So as the current increases, yes, then the power increases so the brightness increases. So the light brightness of the light bulbs increases because the current is increasing as the total resistance of the circuit decreases. And so the light brightness of the light bulb increases. So you need to use that in your um, explanation that power equals I squared R. The moment that you have increasing current, as you can see from the table here, you will have increasing brightness because power is proportional to I squared.